A showcase coming up tonight called We Are Centerville is working to help immigrant families adjust to the area. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart talked with organizers about the program's launch. These posters, which Centerville City students have been working on for months, will welcome everyone tonight. They represent what Centerville means to the students, and they hope everyone, whether you've lived here for months or for years, will come out and learn a little bit more about your home. An influx in recent years of immigrant families moving to Centerville sparked the city to launch a new initiative called Connect Centerville. We are matching um, local families with more recently arrived families who've come from other countries, and the intent is that they'll be meeting here tonight. Tonight's event is funded through a $30,000 grant from the charitable arm of Fuyao Glass America. The purpose is to get these families involved and learn what is available to make them feel more at home. I've actually lived overseas before I lived um, in another country, and I just remember that experience and what it was like to move to a new place and how overwhelming it was to try to um, tap into all the resources in the community. So other organizations like Centerville Washington Park District, Sinclair Community College, and the Puerto Rican American and Caribbean organization will also be setting up booths. LaMaster says even if you were born and raised in the Miami Valley, there will be plenty for you to learn as well. A lot of our newly arrived families are also involved in their own organizations and different activities, and we've just invited them to showcase some of those things. So whatever they wanted to bring forth, um, just to show what's significant in their life. Tonight's event runs from 6 until 8 at Tower Heights Middle School, so there's still plenty of time for you to come out and maybe even meet some more of your neighbors. Reporting in Centerville, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.